most of the time we can help you avoid surgery. Rest assured that even if you need surgery, we have excellent options, including minimally invasive, motion sparing, and even traditional options that can help you get back to health. Hi, I'm Dr. Melvin Mackney, and I'm a spine surgeon and director of complex spine surgery in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery, and this is Understanding Disc Herniations. Our spines are composed of alternating discs and bones known as vertebral bodies. Our discs are cushions that allow for motion between the vertebral bodies and are composed of a soft inner nucleus surrounded by a thick outer fibrocartilaginous ring known as the annulus fibrosus. Our discs have an inner soft cushion with a thick outer ring. And when that outer ring gets compromised, we can have what are known as disc herniations. And when these disc herniations occur, they can put pressure on the nearby nerves, which can be quite debilitating. Most of the motion in our spinal columns occur in our necks, in our cervical spine, as well as in our lower backs, in our lumbar spine. And these are the regions that most commonly have disc herniations. So patients often think that the disc herniation came from a specific trauma. And while it's absolutely true that trauma can lead to a disc herniation, normally disc herniations occur from a gradual wear and tear known as degeneration of the discs in patients who have a genetic predisposition to having a disc herniation. There are several factors such as obesity, smoking, and having a physically demanding occupation that can increase your risk of having a disc herniation. So what are the symptoms of a disc herniation? When discs herniate, they can place pressure on the nearby nerves. Sometimes, this doesn't cause any symptoms at all. In fact, studies of healthy volunteers have shown that most patients, even though they're completely healthy, asymptomatic, and have no symptoms whatsoever, have bulging of their discs. Disc herniations can cause pain, weakness, numbness, tingling. Less commonly, but more urgently, disc herniations can cause problems with balance, coordination, or even bowel or bladder function, and even at the most extreme cases, paralysis. For these issues, you should immediately go to the emergency room for evaluation and possible urgent or emergent surgical management. There are several non-operative treatment options for disc herniations. The most common include rest, activity modification, physical therapy, anti-inflammatory medications, and epidural steroid injections. Other common forms of non-operative treatment include acupuncture, massage, yoga, ice, and heat, patches, creams, cognitive behavioral therapy, medications such as Tylenol, gabapentin, and oral steroids. Minimally invasive surgery can provide excellent relief with an incision that's less than one inch long. Other possible surgeries include motion sparing options, such as artificial disc replacement, which maintains the motion in your spine. There are other more traditional surgical options as well, such as decompression as well as fusion that can help alleviate the pressure on your neural elements and help overall restore your quality of life. While surgery can help improve your overall condition, no procedure is without risk. And so it's important for you to talk to your spine surgeon about risks and benefits of both non-operative and operative treatment plans. So together through shared decision-making, you can come up with an optimal plan that is best for you. Unfortunately, disc herniations are common and they can be quite debilitating. However, remember that up to 90% of patients in the first three months get significant relief or complete alleviation of their symptoms, which means that most of the time we can help you avoid surgery. Rest assured that even if you need surgery, we have excellent options, including minimally invasive, motion sparing, and even traditional options that can help you get back to health. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Dr. Melvin Mackney, and at Master L. Brigham, we are here for you.